Hey guys, what's up? I just wanted to make a follow-up video because in that first video, I said that the nano traction was going to have a lockout for the cam. And as soon as I posted the video, I kind of got flamed. It was kind of funny. It's been confirmed by multiple people, pe even people at Petzl, that there's going to be no integrated lockout for the cam. Honestly, I'm not surprised. I kind of suspected this. I actually filmed another video before I filmed the other one talking about if it had no teeth or no lockout. I might use some clips from that in this video. So if you're wondering why I have a mustache <laughs> in parts, some clips, but not others, that's why. So if you guys want to know the specs and everything about the new nano traction, just check out my last video. I talk about it all there. What I want to focus on in this video is first of all, I want to clear up any sort of confusion about the lockout because we know now and I'm going to explain to you the thought process. I also want to talk about what the applications of a progress capture device with a pulley but no lockout actually are. In my last video, I talked about how there's this pin on the new nano traction just like the old one and you'd think, oh, that's the point that the lever pivots around. But I was wrong about this. And I've since figured out why Petzl's put in the pin on the new one, even though there is no lockout. And the reason why they put it there is for structural support. Because when you think about it, when the device is loaded, the two plates, they want to they come together because the, normally you'll have an oval carabiner. So the oval carabiner pushes the plates together. And what that pin does is it prevents the plates from going in too close and pinching your rope and basically rendering the device useless. Another cause of confusion about this locking mechanism was the new nano traction has this little nub here, just like the old one. And everybody's like, oh yeah, um, the pin's there because that's for the lockout. And me, myself, I was one of those people. But the real reason why it's still there is Petzl's just using the exact same cam as the micro traction on the nano traction. And it makes complete sense because what this does is it saves Petzl so much money in manufacturing and designing. These are all very complex processes and they require a lot of resources and Petzl saving themselves a lot by just putting the same exact one on. The reason why I think the nano traction is going to be really good for a lot of people is because people kind of want an in-between between these two devices because there are people that don't need a lockout so it's a pulley but they do want an efficient rope grab and that's the downfall of these things, is that they're inefficient. So the issue with most rope grabs that I know are out right now is that you have to load it a special way. You, you can't just go like this and be like, oh, call the day, I'm just gonna whip on this or something like that. It's not, this is not rated for that. These are a pain because I don't even know, this, this carabiner is too small to even show. Let me get a bigger one. So as you can see from that little time lapse right there, this thing's a pain to set up the way you'd set it up if you want to load it. Because what you can see is different here is if let's say my hand is the bolt and you fall, well first of all rope sliding up, all right, leaders climbing up, they fall. Now what's good is now this carabiner is there because the carabiner is rated for load. This by itself is not. So this integrates these two together to make it loading. But no one, no one sets these devices. I mean, some people do, but it's a pain in the butt to set a device up like this. And that's why people really like stuff like 
the mic traction and the roll lock because you don't need to do that. All you have to do is put the rope in, close that, clip it, and then call it quits, and you're good to go. I mean, it's upside down, but you get the point. So if they actually end up not having a locking mechanism for the teeth, it'd be interesting because I see some pros and cons to that. There's definitely going to be an added level of security because there'll be no way of it accidentally getting put into pulley mode. But you also lose a lot of functionality because you can't use it purely as a pulley. I can see this device being very useful for people that like to use progress capture devices while they're simul climbing to protect the leader in the case that the follower falls. And I think that it's going to be popular for this because currently the main options that people are using for simul climbing are the roll and lock, the micro traction, and then the Elrid Spock. And what all those devices share is they have a pulley and you can run the rope away from the carabiner and this makes this minimizes rope drag as much as possible which you don't get with normal rope grabs but the thing with all these devices is that they all have the functionality of being able to use them as purely a pulley which when you're simul climbing you don't need just a pure pulley that's not useful you want a progress capture device and this is what the nano traction does is it gives you a device that's purely progress capture but it still has a pulley so it's going to be really efficient which will minimize rope drag and it comes in that compact lightweight package which every climber wants for big wall climbing i don't think it'll be as popular because you're sacrificing versatility and when you're doing big wall climbing the extra 32 grams for the added versatility of being able to use it as purely a pulley is something that I personally would like. It's just extra functionality and you lose this with the nano traction. So I think this device will be good for rope soloing because you, when you're rope soloing, you don't need the functionality of a pulley really you just need the functionality of the progress capture and it's going to be more secure because you don't need to worry about these teeth accidentally getting opened up and locked up and then you're in open position you're sliding down your rope so i think people are going to like the nano traction for that those are my thoughts on the new nano traction i hope that cleared up any sort of confusion on the lock-in mechanism and thanks everybody for watching See you next time. So I also got my hands on the Petzl Sport or Recreational Workbook and they have a page on there that shows the recreational version of the Nano Traction and I'll leave a link to that in the description so you guys can go check that out yourself.